My name is Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and pretty much I go sourcing at garage sales, uh, thrift stores, bin stores, storage units, online liquidation, like you guys name it, I'm trying to do it. Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and check it out. We're here with the wifey again. Ah. And even though we just came here Friday, we always seem to find stuff here at the 10 Spot Bin Store in Hinesville, Georgia. It is $5 day to day. So um, hopefully we can find some more items to flip online for a profit. If you guys noticed Friday, we spent almost $650. We were like $3 shy of it. Uh, and we are gonna make out like a bandit again. Um, very cool people, very cool environment here as well. Um, we are here late. They opened up at... 10 o'clock this morning and it is 12 30 so we've came here around this time before and we found great stuff as well so uh they're constantly restocking the bins and we're gonna go inside and see if we can find something so wifey are you ready yes all right let's get it all right guys yo check it out welcome back to another bin store video yes so pretty much this is the 10 spot bin store we are back uh two times in two days we were, just, we were in the area and today is five dollar day um Again, I do know that I am doing some commentary over these uh, this particular bin store because their music is a little bit loud and we do not want to get copyrighted. Um, but it is not their fault. They run a legit business and they want to entertain their customers. So we cannot fault them for that because at the end of the day, uh, I, I actually enjoy the music <laughs> whenever I go in here. So it gives me the, the positive vibes of finding uh, some profitable items. So that first thing that I got was a Rummy Cub brand new uh, sealed uh, board game. Uh, for five bucks, it still was not worth it. Um, I was like, you know what, it's sealed. I'll look it up later. Um, but it wasn't really worth it for me. Um, you might have profited maybe five dollars on it, and I just wasn't in it for that. And the sell-through rate wasn't really, you know, the greatest either. <clears throat> so I looked at the retail side, didn't see a whole lot that I could profit from. I mean, definitely profit to be made there for sure, but I just did not want to uh, deal with that type of stuff because the profit margins were kind of there, but at the end of the day. Uh, what they do is with their retail store, uh, their, their retail size, what I should say, is if things do not sell over time, they'll price them lower and lower and lower. And then eventually, if people don't bite on them, they put them in the bins for whatever set day it is. Usually, it's going to be a $10 day because they usually put their more expensive items on the retail side. Even though we found a $400 processor in the bins for $10. So, like I said, some things will slip by and they, they literally put stuff out there that's worth money. So, um, so again, we're looking through the bins though and not finding a whole lot at this point. Um, this Oshkosh Bagosh, I think that's how you say the name, um, is a retail store and this was like an infant, toddler, overalls, like child thing, uh, youth thing, I don't know. Uh, brand new with tags, was not quite worth it for five bucks. Um, sell through rate wasn't really the greatest either. Uh, this Duracell batteries, um, you know, I was like, you know, five bucks, we're probably gonna make about 25 free shipping on it. Everything was there, all that good stuff. So I figured, you know what? We might be able to profit about $15 uh, after all said and done. I was like, throw it in the bag. Might as well. Each item is $5. So if you guys do have any questions about how bin stores work, feel free to ask as well. Uh, this right here is a Continental. It's called a bike skin. And I ended up finding two of them. And they're actually going for some you know, good, decent money. And the sell-through rate is actually pretty decent. So we ended up throwing uh, both of these in the bag because we're going to have to sell them together. And at $5 a piece, that means we have $10 invested, which would what we would invest anyways on $10 day. So uh, what, one thing I actually do like to uh, do here sometimes, there's actually a mask and it was belonged in that box. Uh, occasionally, if I see that, I'll actually go ahead and throw it in their perspective uh, box that they're supposed to go in because people, whenever they come in here, you know, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. They open stuff and then they just let everything spill out. So, I, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I try to I try to help out whenever I can. But um, yeah, some Chinese uh, puzzles not really worth anything. Um, so turned around, went back here, and you know we're still looking through the bins again. Like I said, they're they're kind of already picked through. You know, not really a whole lot to be seen. Um, but they're actually about to start restocking here in like just a second and you guys are going to see some, uh, I think one or two items that I find. Um, it's kind of crazy. I think it's just one maybe. But like I said, we were probably in here for maybe 10-15 minutes at most and we were coming out with some, some decent profits. Uh, so right here I'm digging through, digging through, not finding a whole lot. And then I see this little thing in the back here. It's called Vicor Plus. 
and I didn't think anything of it, but I was like, you know what, let me look it up, and there's a little bit of money to be made there at $5, and we actually found two of these, so we're like, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the bag, and, uh, you know, $10 invested, and I wanna say maybe 70 bucks in total right there, so definitely not bad. They just restocked it through a couple things in this bin, and this ended up being a golf battery charger and oh my gosh you guys wait until you guys see the recap for how much this item goes for five bucks you guys it is a beautiful investment and a beautiful roi so uh let's go ahead and get to the rest of this uh video how you doing how are you i'm good <laughs> He got me here before I'm cool. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 I mean, after that 650 I spent here Friday, I'm kind of... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you got I'll that? See you later. All right, yes, ma'am. Pretty sure we'll see y'all Friday. <laughs> Did somebody hit my car? Somebody hit my damn car. Look at that. Somebody hit my damn car. I like, feel it. guys so i know this was a little bit of a shorter video than normal that's why i'm coming in here to talk to you guys real quick so if you guys remember the last video whenever i did the bin store i didn't do a recap well apparently i didn't do a recap for this day either i don't know what it is i don't know if it was the footage or maybe i just maybe it just slipped my mind for it to be for two videos in a row it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me so i want to apologize for not doing the recap for both of these however we did mix it up and we had the music like we used to and all that good stuff so i wanted to break down the numbers real quick to kind of show you guys roughly what the profits are going to be and this is before fees uh before taxes before you know all this this, this is basically gross profit all that good stuff so <clears throat> in total we spent 48 dollars and 60 cents and like i said even though it was only what was it four items or so we still made out with some good uh some good profitable items and the roi is is beautiful it's amazing um so if you guys look at it the duracell batteries just sell for about 25 the um two continental bike skins i still don't know what they are but their sell through rate was pretty good they should sell for 50 plus shipping and then uh those bicor things just sell for like $35 a piece somewhere around there and then the biggest find was that golf cart charger now over on amazon they were going for 298 i played it conservative very very conservative and said that that golf battery was worth 250 dollars which puts us at right at 400 dollars in profit so we could be a little greedy and be like, you know, 450, but just conservative, we're looking at about $400 uh, gross sales. So after the $48 invested, uh, we're looking at uh, just a little over $350. So probably after fees and shipping and taxes, we're probably looking at, let's just say, let's just say conservative $250 for going into a, a, a bin store that we were in there for maybe 15 minutes. We weren't in there long at all. Uh, for 15 minutes to come out with $250 in total profit. Probably, it might be a little bit more than that, but being conservative. And that right there is why you guys resell. You never know what you're gonna find. The fact that we were in there, we found three items, you know, that would have been for a total of 150, somewhere around there. And then as they were restocking, just because we were there at the right time, right place, we found another $300 item, but we're gonna say 250. Um, and which puts us in our gross profits of 400 so that right there is ridiculous insane and that is why we resell 
So uh, thank you guys so much for all the love, man. Uh, over 2,300 subscribers. Uh, you guys are you guys are insane, man. I think this year is going to be great for us, and we have a lot and lots and lots of opportunities in uh sourcing ideas and all that good stuff coming to you guys very very soon i promise um but uh, just keep sticking with us and i promise you you guys it will make it worth your while <laughs> so much love we'll catch you guys next video peace i'm in the big leagues Tony don't miss me balling like houston hey feeling like whitney i need a bag bro send it too quickly i'm making his dog like I'm in the big leagues, told him that I gotta go, dawg I'm riding a road, y'all, I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all